Have you ever felt like someone is trying to suck you back into a toxic relationship? Ever encountered an ex who seems to pop up in your life just when you're starting to move on? If so, you may have encountered a manipulative tactic known as narcissistic hoovering. This technique is often used by individuals with narcissistic tendencies to regain control over former partners or victims after a period of estrangement or silence. The goal? To regain access to your resources, whether they're emotional, financial, or simply to feed their ego with your attention. It's a subtle form of manipulation designed to pull you back into their sphere of influence, often without you even realizing it. It's important to recognize these tactics to protect your emotional well-being and maintain your distance from these toxic personalities. Today, we're going to explore 10 common examples of narcissistic hoovering. Recognizing these tactics can help you protect yourself and maintain your distance from toxic personalities. Scene script. Let's dive into the first five examples of narcissistic hoovering. First up, we have the casual bump in. This is when a narcissist accidentally runs into you at a place you frequent. They act surprised, even delighted to see you. But don't be fooled. This is a calculated move designed to trigger nostalgia and pave the way for more contact. Next is the nostalgic blast. Here, the narcissist sends you old photos, songs, or memories from your shared past. They're trying to evoke feelings of past happiness and rekindle your emotional attachment. This tactic can be particularly effective if the relationship ended on a sour note. Third, we have the fake apology. The narcissist seems to offer a heartfelt apology for their past behavior. However, they often take minimal responsibility, blaming external factors or making excuses. This ploy is designed to gain your sympathy and trust. Fourth on our list is the damsel or dude in distress. The narcissist reaches out with a sob story about needing your help with a financial crisis, a health scare, or some other drama. The story might be completely fabricated. The goal here is to exploit your empathy and draw you back into their life. Finally, we have the jealousy trap. In this scenario, the narcissist subtly or overtly mentions seeing you with someone new. They feign hurt or anger, trying to trigger your possessiveness and desire to prove your loyalty. This is a manipulative way to stir your emotions and potentially reassert their control. These are just some of the ways a narcissist might try to draw you back into their web, but there are more to be aware of. You see, narcissists are masters of manipulation, and they'll use every trick in the book to get what they want. It's important to recognize these tactics for what they are. Attempts to regain control, access your resources, or simply feed their ego with your attention. By staying vigilant and protecting your emotional well-being, you can avoid falling back into their trap. Continuing with our list, here are the next five examples of narcissistic hoovering tactics. Number six, the grand gesture. This is the flamboyant display of affection where the narcissist showers you with gifts, compliments, or extravagant promises of a fresh start. It's all a show a smokescreen to distract you from their real intentions of manipulation and control. Seventh, we have the friend zone bait. Here, the narcissist feigns a desire for friendship. They engage in friendly conversations, offer support, and subtly test the waters for potential reconciliation. It's a way to keep you emotionally invested without them having to commit to anything. Eighth on our list is the social media stalk. In this digital age, it's all too easy for the narcissist to insert themselves back into your life. They like and comment on your social media posts, making sure they stay in your mind and potentially opening the door for further contact. Next up, the flying monkey tactic. In this scenario, the narcissist enlists mutual friends or family members to reach out to you on their behalf. They spread positive anecdotes about their supposed change or express their regret for losing you. It's a clever way to bypass your boundaries and manipulate your perception through indirect contact. And finally, number 10, the guilt trip. This is where the narcissist reminds you of all the good times you shared, implying that you're the one who ruined the relationship or pushing the blame for the breakup onto you. It's a calculated move designed to manipulate your guilt and make you question your own choices. These tactics, while different, all serve the same purpose to draw you back into a toxic relationship. But knowing them can help you stay one step ahead. Remember, the key is to recognize these behaviors and understand their manipulative intent. Don't let a narcissist's hoovering attempts cloud your judgment or compromise your emotional well-being. Stay vigilant, 
set strong boundaries, and always prioritize your own healing. Recognizing these hoovering tactics is the first step in protecting yourself from narcissistic manipulation. We've explored 10 different strategies, from the casual bump in to the guilt trip, each one designed to exploit your emotions, your empathy, and even your sense of loyalty. But remember, these are all calculated moves. They're not about rekindling an old flame or making amends. They're about control, about reasserting dominance, and often about accessing resources, be they emotional or financial. So what do we do when faced with these tactics? Uh, first and foremost, we set strong boundaries. This might mean blocking their number, avoiding places you know they frequent, or even seeking a restraining order in extreme cases. It's not about being cruel. It's about protecting your emotional well-being. Next, focus on your personal healing. It's easy to get caught up in that drama, to let their actions dictate your emotions, but you're more than their target. You're a person with your own life, your own dreams, and your own journey of growth. Don't let their attempts to suck you back in distract you from that. Seek support from trusted individuals. This could be friends, family, or a mental health professional. Narcissists thrive on isolation, on making you feel like you're alone in this, but you're not. There are people who understand, who've been through it, and who want to help. Reach out to them. And finally, remember that you have the power. You decide who gets to be a part of your life. You decide who gets to share your joy, your pain, your triumphs, and your struggles. Don't let a narcissist's hoovering tactics draw you back into a toxic relationship. Remember, you have the power to choose who you let into your life. Don't let a narcissist's hoovering tactics draw you back into a toxic relationship. You deserve healthy, respectful connections.